Hey, good morning, everybody. This is The Professor with Day Trading for Success. Today, I'm here with a pretty big group. We're going to be trading a range-bound strategy so you can see how it works. This is from the book Day Trading Volume 1. I'll have a link to that. Make sure you read this disclaimer. I am not a licensed financial advisor. You should seek the advice of somebody you trust before you try to emulate this strategy. For that matter, any strategy or anything you see on YouTube or any book that you read, um, don't believe anything. Speak to somebody licensed. Check it out yourself. Trade in a simulator. Make sure it's, it's going green for you. And then after that period of time, get in low share size and you can try it. And you, you're not going to just find the first strategy. We were talking about this the other day, and I will be live trading in a few minutes, but we were talking about this the other day where um, I, d I don't particularly remember this myself, but because I don't I didn't get into it kind of the way that most people are getting into trading these days, day trading. But it's like you you hear something or you see somebody and you think you just have to do that one thing. Once I figured out how to do this one thing, I'm going to become successful, a millionaire and quit my job or whatever, my, whatever your level of success might be. It might be making 50,000 a year and that's all you need and you're set for life. You know, so just everybody has a different range and a different number there. But it's not like that. It's not, <clears throat> there isn't something you can just learn. God, that would be so great, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be so great. Um, but it doesn't mean you can't learn. So you got to put your head down and knuckle down and, and really um, focus on a whole bunch of different strategies and a whole bunch of different books, listening to a whole bunch of different people. Check it out with somebody licensed before you put real money. Trade in a simulator first. Make sure it's going green. Not every strategy is for everybody. You really have to find something that fits just right for you. It's almost like a sport. You know, you're going to be good at a certain position if you're it's football or baseball or you know it's that obviously it's not tennis wouldn't really fit in that but i mean a certain swing i mean you're going to be everybody's different so you know and it's it sounds so generic when i say it it's just like oh yeah whatever pal you know but really honestly slow down think about it you know think about what i'm saying and you're sure you've heard other people say it you're gonna see all these different strategies you're gonna if you if you're a personality like a lot of people you're just gonna believe you just have to understand it then you'll be able to do it but it's the the market can go against you at any single second so it doesn't work that way however we're celebrating somebody who just made 500k uh, it took about a year and a half that's been trading the rv strategy he's with us trading us today we have a couple of other people that have made over a million over the last year and a half trading this one strategy. Now, we trade other strategies, too, uh, but we're going to be trading the RV strategy today. And I'll have a link to the book that uh, they put out about this strategy. It's called Day Trading Volume 1, and that's a great book because it has about how to just start to open an account, how to do everything with trading. Uh, and then it goes into like an actual textbook how to trade this one range bound large cap strategy. So I recommend it. And then there's other people trading this strategy um, the, uh, along with other strategies. I mean, not everybody only trades this that's that's with me here today. They trade other strategies too. I'm, I'm, I'm celebrating their total success, not just with one strategy, but you know, the, you, you can do it. It can be done. It's just when you're expecting it to just happen like that, that's when you have the problems. It, it, it could take year, two years, three years, four years even. So, you, you know, don't lose the house. Keep the share size small. Trade in the simulator first. And then if you like it, if you have a passion for it, it's going to click. It will happen. You know, it's the people that don't stick with it, with it, and I'm generalizing, obviously, are the people that are expecting way too much, expecting it to happen right away, or they're blaming themselves because they can't get it. Yes, I guess you could. It is, it is your fault. <laughs> that you can't, that you haven't learned it yet. That's why, that you're ignorant. And that's your fault. You're not stupid. You're ignorant. There's a big difference there. You know, if you didn't know the difference there, it means you don't know any better. You don't know enough. That's all. So everybody travels at their own speed. And when you finally do get it, you could be the best trader in the world. It doesn't mean that the people that learn quicker aren't going to make more money or anything. They just turn the corner a little faster, found something that worked for them. And, you know, anyway, I have to get into what I'm showing you here. But I just wanted to make sure I, we just were discussing it the other day. Uh, I mean, late last night um, with a group that, you, yeah, do you remember when you just thought you just once you once that candle broke that candle, you always go in 
and then you're just going to it's just going to work for you. No. Read Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas. Uh, I'll have a link to that too. And that's basically telling you that every trade can go against you no matter how certain you are, no matter how it lines up with your strategy, no matter, no matter, no matter. So you always ask yourself, can I lose this much money based on this share size if it went down as low as I think it can possibly go? And then if you're okay with that, take the trade. But otherwise lower your share size till you feel okay with that and then and then you, you're able to stay in the move to where you, you know, i mean i'm not just saying randomly take a trade that way but i mean like if you if you've studied a strategy and in your in your fingers are shaking and you're in your you're feeling sick that means your share size is too high guys or you shouldn't even be trading live yet and that is something we all every single professional trader a beginner trader we all experience it so there's my little lesson for today and i have a lot of videos here in the video archives showing all kinds of trading styles all kinds of different strategies so what we do here so you you can hear me say that lesson at various times is what i was going to start to say but what we do here on day trading for success is we're not selling you courses or anything we're just giving you information hoping that you subscribe hoping you give us a thumbs up because we are we monetize to get your views when you view when you watch and the minutes tick by we get pennies and after a while pennies add up to tens of dollars not hundreds really i mean eventually but um we're not that big but um it helps a little bit with the studio but what we do here is we try to show you different trading styles that are from books or from different YouTube channels or uh, out on the street, whatever it might be, different professional traders um, that, that are working. And we, we take them out for a test run here. Now, we're really stuck on the RV strategy that came out last March. And then the book came out right after it. And our team has, has been trading it. And uh, the Million Dollar Margin Club has been trading it. And... Everybody's just kicking butt with that one strategy. Recently, the open strategy came out, um, and that's on Day Trading Volume 4, and it has a great companion book that has the fifth open strategy, so I recommend getting that. I'll have links for both of those. Now, I'm not trading that strategy here. I'm trading Day Trading Volume 1, the um, the RV strategy, which is is a large cap strategy, range bound. You have to have a, a minimum of a $25 billion market cap, one billion minimum float, and you're trading large and mega cap stocks, and you're trying to find a range and then channels within that range. So that book goes through every detail, how to set it up, when to take your trades, in and out, in and out. So I can't do it all on a video. Although if you watch all like 85 videos about this one strategy, because there's a lot of them, you probably don't need to read the book, you know. Um, so, you know, it's up, it's up to you how you want to do it. But you can watch it being traded here so you can see. Now I'll be doing quarterbacking, which means I'm going to call out what I see and what I do based on my layout. Everybody here takes their own trades. All right. So we have Charlie. She's over here handling the chat. And um, we, we don't have Alan with us again today, but we have a bunch of traders in the studio that way. So... Um, so yeah, this is, a, this is an actual studio with traders in it and everything. So what we have here is what I, I use this layout to do the RV strategy, the open strategies, all of them, the escalator strategy. And now I've been using it for just, um, you know, freestyle trading as well. So you have a one minute chart, the scalping indicator, which is available for free on this channel. Uh, you have the, this is a custom script that I did. So you make sure you get that because it's kind of amazing. Uh, and then we have a day chart minimized down here. This is the active trader tool to take my trades across the top here. This is the level two, which doesn't come into play too much with large cap. This is a 15 minute chart. I have a five minute chart over here with the MACD and the RSI. Then I have minimized another five minute, a 30 minute, a one hour and a four hour. That's all alien speak to you. See about how to build a, a layout. There's a whole bunch of videos. There's a whole bunch of videos how to set up your charts, how to run, do the volume profile, which is over here. Check out the videos. And uh, there's a lot of free layouts. If you type in free and you see all the videos that come up, there's a lot. But then you, there's a lot of other good videos just if you're trying to find out something about level pool, level uh, two or dark pools or, you know, charts or support and resistance lines or whatever. There's a lot of content now, 200 and something videos, and they don't stay forever. They drop. So remember that. So we've just got a few minutes before we start. 
So how we do this is we look on a day chart. Each one of these is a day. You look at where it closed yesterday to the right eye pictures, $2 and $205.75. Then you look down here to the average true range. That's a range of the stock over a 14-day period. What do you expect it to go up and down? All right, $10.87 is what that range was. You divide that by two. You subtract half of it from the close of the candle uh, right here to get the ATR low, and you add half to get the ATR high. That's our range to trade the RV strategy. And I have to go faster because we're about to trade. So, guys, what I did, those of you that follow me along, the book says you can go from the next you go. Well, I did the fibs. I'll do that. But you go to four hour, a one hour, um, a 15 minute or a five minute. I went with the four hour chart to set my support and resistance lines in the channels. But let's open up the uh, fibs first. So on a five minute uh, chart set for 10 days, you find your Fibonacci levels. You go high to low, and then you snap your lines here, and then nature's mathematical formula opens up. Those are support and resistance lines or channels that we use to trade this strategy. Uh, it's really not that hard to learn the strategies, guys, but if you're just tuning in and you're seeing this, it's going to be like alien speak. I don't know what this guy's talking about. You know, uh, I like the sound of his voice, but I'm going to go watch something else on TV, whatever. Uh, so under my picture is where I clipped the high here and the low here, uh, so you can't see it. But this is a two-day Fibonacci on a five-minute uh, um, chart. So now it gave us more support and resistance lines in between the ATR. Now we have already broken out of the ATR range. Technically, we are in an escalator strategy mode. I will be trading the RV strategy, but I'll also be using the implements of the escalator strategy. So you should look for those videos as well. And then we'll be using the aspects of the uh, day trading volume one to set this all up. So guys, that's about all I have time to show you right now. Come on. It's not going to let me do it. Not going to let me do it. Not going to be able to mess around with. I'm going to have to take a trade in a second. Uh, we start a half hour after market. I have just over about a minute, and let's see if I can. There we go. Finally, I like to get chart alignment here between my. Excuse me. Five minute, fifteen minute is just going straight up, and then um, the one minute as well as my volume profile. I'm on the point of control right now. Everybody's ready, I assume. So it's banging against this, and it just it just left this, uh, it br broke through this Fibonacci level, and then shot right down. So what it's making here right now is a bit of a bull flag if this goes up, um, and that would mean if the second candle goes up, then that would mean that we would go the length of the polar, at least up to this Fib, if you know your patterns. Day Trading Volume 2, Candlestick Pattern Playbook. Get that book. There's a third one too that's kind of connected to that book okay guys see the price action coming in here now normally i would say that's a bump up but because it is below where we are even though it's above the point of control it depends on whether it pops this up i like to see it pop that up before i go long um, so i'm going to look at the market maker number right here guys um Just kind of just kind of checking out the price action again, seeing how we're reconciling with the time versus the patterns. Okay, so we're right on exactly reconciling, which is outstanding. Into 214. Yeah, this is perfect. So there's no lag here, which is great. So I'm gonna look for it to bounce off unless it I'm gonna look for it to take it, not a bull flag situation here. I'm gonna look for it to bounce off the fib if it gets up that high. Or 214, if it gets up that high, maybe 214, the even dollar amount. I don't think it's going to get to the fib. I'm just looking at the price action here. It's not, it's not feeling very strong. So you, you people can take their trades right now. So I've already missed the trade. It looks like. Yeah, I'm just going to get in that short right now. Yeah, I wish I would have grabbed it up here, guys. It is, it, it did not do a bull flag. So. Um, So you'll see me reverse a lot. So where did I get that? 1310. Wow. I could have got that way up at 214. I didn't actually see that number come up. But I did see it in the 70s and 80s. So um, Now, I set my ranges 
on the four hour for one particular, I have a thousand dollar max loss per trade. I usually do it the number of shares. Uh, everybody's trading 1,000 shares. Everybody's trading market. I did this for a reason, guys. Um, often I won't show you when I'm trading with you live um, and showing you demonstrations. I won't show wide channels. I show tight channels because I really think that's the way um, if you are uh, newer or inexperienced, you should really have tight channels. But I, I like to trade 50 cents and above channels um, when I'm kind of doing my own thing. And um, it's, it's a way bigger chance. You take a way bigger chance. But I don't want to take 25 trades today. I want to take 10 trades today if I can. If I can. Now, you see me get in, in these little scalps all the time. Yeah, I wish I would have grabbed it up there. I wouldn't even be red right now if I grabbed it up near where it was. I just thought it might make a bull flag. Uh, but you see me make those little those little scalps. And like this is tempting. But I'm going to see if it breaches this and gets back down where it was. I'd like to see it get down here maybe. Um, and start starting this, you know. But if it keeps making higher highs, then, you know, we'll we'll play it long. But it sure doesn't look like it from the scalping indicator. Look at the percentages here. So remember, when you have a prolonged over 70, 75%, look to go, look for it to go that distance first. That's one of your first markers. But if it starts, if it if it can't hold it, then you're like, okay, so now it's saying like maybe it will. No, then it just hit 100% there <laughs> for a split second. Um, yeah, I'm thinking this is going down. If it, it looks like it's going to break the fib, this is the VWAP right here. I'm sure I interrupted my point here, guys, when I was saying something, but I'm trying not to take as many small trades. So now I'm watching this point of control very closely with this price action above and below, which is the most recent you can get on a volume profile. This is set for today, not one day, for today. And I moved it right into the middle of my chart rather than off to the right. There's a bunch of videos that show you how to do that. So I do utilize this along with patterns. You know, we passed the three black crows. Forget about the bull flag. Uh, I mean, we're, ju we're just going, we're just dropping like a knife right now. Although I do look down here and I see that the seller's volume is dropping off. See it? Um, now, now it isn't, but it was. So that was starting to scare me that it was has maybe reached. Now look for the even dollars too. This is a good opening trade. Uh, I don't want to really go back and lose it all now, so... Um, now, this is the lower area of the volume um, profile value uh, here. So this is also should be respected as this moves along. People, now, why are these certain things respected? Now, I set the four. I didn't show you, but I set the four. I'll just open it up because I'm not going to jump out of this trade anytime soon. So here's a four-hour chart. I set my – you can see here that I set these, these blue lines here on four-hour pivot points. See how they're stopped in historical data here, unless they're really close to a fib, then I didn't send it. But I, I tried to cover, and then I looked at the channel size, and I tried to see if they connected to others in different areas. So that's how I marked that. We were already outside of the ATR. Typically, I only do a couple lines above, but uh, there is nothing really over here to mark. Um, below here so it would, if it went down we wouldn't have had much now why do I mark it there that's what that's what brought this up um, good okay why did I I was taking a chat I was getting a little worried there but um, the um, this is where price action has stopped rested or turned around it's historical data it's not that historical it's like within the last 10 days for some reason price action turned around there you know it and it and it uh, it might do it again and that's what the strategy is based on it really creates channels with the fibonacci levels and then you have the the overall average with the atrs that you expect it to move in and now it has broken that so a lot of people would have rejected this as a rv stock and they would have been right to do so if they can find other ones. We took the time to set this up, and we just wanted to trade Tesla. But it is the RV principles. Now, now here you go. Now, I will absolutely reverse at this um, if it gets down here. I'm, I'm not even going to mess around. So um, I'm waiting. I'm going to wait because I have a huge cushion now. So I can wait. I, if it breaks back to SFIB or something, I'll take the six 800 bucks. But... Um, 
I'm going to wait because I'm kind of looking at this like an escalator. Uh, how the escalator strategy works, among other things, it would have longer support and resistance lines from further back, sometimes 90 days. Um, but it bounces off the ATR and springs up. That's the true escalator. Now, we'll see if it does that, if it just breaches right through. But um, that, would, that would help us uh, read this a little bit better if we get a, a huge support down here. Now, the, R, the AFTR level that was split and then created the overall range starting from the center of the, of the close of the last candle, candle right from the day before, that strategy, I've said it before, that way that people do that is done for all kinds of strategies, not just the RB strategy. So what I was starting to say is uh, on historical data, and things like the ATR, it's like, <clears throat> what what um, makes these things come true? What makes it turn around at those levels? When enough people see it and do the same thing, that's it's that simple. Unless it's a big, you know, we are fighting against high frequency algorithms and stuff. But for the most part, what you're seeing, although some people will tell you 80% of the trading market is algorithms now. I, I, I can't prove it. Algorithms won't, they lie, they don't talk to me. <laughs> but what I do know is that usually when I see something and people see patterns, they work a lot of the time, and that's because other people are reacting the same way. That's all. It just becomes a, a it's just like a, a, a collective fulfilled prophecy. I say self-fulfilled, but it's really collective fulfilled prophecy it's like a lot of people do it now i see more and more of this coming in in the atr here i am getting ready to get out of this position i have to tell you i don't like that this price the point of control hasn't pulled down um so uh I, i'm just in that the volume's gone down with the short sellers here although it's really strong right there but at the atr no matter what i will reverse did that actually hit it there and i missed it god it did didn't it Wow, it hit it there and I missed it. I'm looking at the market maker here. I want to see this market maker say like 211.20 ish, so in the low 20s, right at that ATR level there, just 19. I don't want to miss this. This is a great trade. Now, it could blow through it and I'll just manage a bad trade if it keeps going down, but I will have banked this money. I don't want to see this drop below 1,000 if it starts to go up, so. Um, now, my goal is 5K a day. It is a little harder with, only, with taking fewer trades, but it's also, oh, man. Okay, so that actually, that might have been it. Okay, focus. Stay on target. Is that going to dip back down there to the ATR? I didn't see it hit it there, but, boy, it looks like the spike hit it. If enough people thinks that thought that happened, then it could bounce. Here it goes. Is it going to hit it? I'm going to get out either way here in just a second. Come on. There was a 20. I'm going to take that. 26. Then it blows through. <laughs> okay so now what i've done is i've banked it 1800 look at it turn around at the atr i mean it's too soon to tell for sure but it does look like it turned around there so um yeah now it's not too soon to tell so we've made a tweezer move on the atr high which is sort of like it bounced off the ceiling and it is starting to move like an escalator strategy stock so we'll we'll keep the rv a uh, specific strategy by using these channel ceilings and floors but we'll keep that in mind what just happened there it doesn't mean it's going to stay up here it could just fade but um it, it you know this might just be a solid wall that it can't get through and then we'll start scalping up in here that that's a lot of times what happens because so many people are afraid of holding as it try as it comes up to this as i was as well so um Well, that was a good trade, guys. We started off good. I think some of you scalped in there. Let me just see. Is anybody actually ahead of me? Yeah. Okay, we got a 2600 there. Oh, you must have done a good scalp in the middle. 
Everybody else is behind me or right with me. Oh, no, there's a couple. Yeah, I bet you, I bet you, uh, you didn't wait for me to go in. You cap, you, which is a half hour after market opens. We're now, we're on the East Coast ET time in the United States on the New York Stock Exchange. So that is 10 a.m. I waited. I didn't get in right at 10. I waited 30 seconds. I should have probably just got in because I would have been at the top of this move. And instead, I, I, I lost like, um, I don't know what that was. I probably lost a couple hundred bucks there. By not getting in three, maybe 300 bucks. Didn't really lose it. I just didn't make it. So I count that as losing. But um, All right. I'm going to look at that VWAP and that. Yeah, 23. I'm going to take it right there. What did I get at? 212.14. God, I thought it was 23. I saw it break the line. I didn't look at the market maker. Um All right, I'm just watching this because if this flies up, I got to switch. And then I'd look to get out at the fib. But I thought people might see the 20, the 9, the VWAP converging on this 212.23 and lose a little bit of their faith on the upward move. Um, the, you know, the scalping indicator didn't make the height of the sellers. And now the sellers are winning. So it was a good move so far. Depends on how long I want to hold this. I said I wake up. Ooh. Let's go down to the ATR again and see. I just noticed too. I wasn't really focusing. There's a there's a Fibonacci level right here too. We might see it did tap it. So what is that at? That's a two eleven ten. So I might try to hang on it just a little bit more. See if it tries to break that again. Or it might not come back down here again, so we don't know for sure. We don't really have a bear flag. We don't really have a bull flag. We had a tweezer going down here, a tweezer going up there. This tweezer didn't quite completely complete. If this one were to complete, we would end up just below the fib. So I'm looking at that. Um, the five minute doesn't have either. These are the first time this has turned red, the 15 minute. 15 minutes calling for it down. Now keep in mind, there's more people that trade off the 15 minute than there are off the five minute, more people to trade off the five minute than there are the three or two minute, and more people trade off the three or two minute than they do the one minute. So these are gonna be better respected patterns. And it, it it's, works that way all the way up, the one hour, two hour, four hour, the, the larger, the pattern, the more people respect it. It's a collective different uh, price action, you know, smoothed or rounded out into those. Um... Okay, is it going to stop here again? That's a good trade already, so. It was 800 a second ago, right? I think, did it actually hit the FIB right there? It seems like it's respecting that FIB, guys. I mean, that um, ATR. That ATR is really being respected. So you want to learn about your patterns, which you should know. Day Trading Volume 2, the Candlestick Pattern Playbook. I'll have a link to it. They have a third one out, too, that's really good. You should really... There's like I have like six books. Trading in the Zone, Mark Douglas. Best Loser Wins, Tom Hogart. And then four of them by the Million Dollar Margin Club which are day trading volume one through four. And there's links to each and every one. Um, now, I, there are, I do put log books and things up there too, but because um, I think everybody should be logging. But those are books that I really believe in. So you'll see me talk about them. And then we usually trade them and, or trade the philosophy of them. Um, and so I will talk about them a lot. Now, I am looking for, I am getting some collaboration on potentially some other strategies um there's two of them that are coming from one of our traders that's not in a book and it's not on youtube and it's just something he's done so i'm very curious about that he says it works um i'm going to take it off that fib 
It went through the fib and the... Uh, I'll reverse again on a short there. What have I got that at? Uh, 211.05. So I managed to, <laughs> we're going to make 5K today. That was a good trade. You know, it looks like it's going to break this. I'm looking at the level, so I quickly switched around. I want to be going the right way. But I was able to, to pocket quite a bit there. Bank quite a bit there. So if it, if it actually stays strong and breaches through this, now we drop below 60%. So, um, you know, it could, it could. I, I would look to this fib right here to be the next, the next area. I would absolutely take the profit and wait a second. But it might, it might shake me out sooner than that fib. No, there it goes. So that's 49. I'm looking for 49 on the market maker somewhere near there. 60, 55, 60. There's 69. Now, there's going to be slippage with this many share size. There's going to be a delay from the time I push the button. It's going to slip a little bit. The market maker, I like to say they do the best they can. They do the best they can without getting called out and caught. <laughs> That's terrible. Um, I'm just appeasing the masses, guys, when I talk like that. That's what everybody thinks. So, um, I do not know to that to be true. I'm sorry. So. Nobody come after me and try to sue me. That already happened once, so we don't want to go through that again. <sighs> and that was from a from a big market maker. <laughs> so not just some trader like us. Wow, okay. There it goes. There's a six. Five, what is that at 49 i'm gonna take that Ooh, i got it jump right when i grabbed it so it, it i got it below the fib so i'm feeling pretty good about this position right here unless of course it keeps going this is the 200 moving average but it's on the one minute so each time it breaks one of these i look at it like a shackle that's pulling it back up like it's alive so it gives us a little bit of time to breathe and to perhaps catch it and manage the bad trade so um Let's get back up. I'll short back off of the uh, off of the uh, ATR. It's something is definitely pulling it down. So let's see if we can capture um, an ATR move here, just to reverse off the ATR. So I got to get it up to two over two eleven, two eleven ten. Oh, I'm gonna take that. What did I get that at? Two oh oh six. Ah, that sucked. That's not that good. I'm gonna take that back again. Ninety six. I want it to get over the 211 up there. So there's nine. There we go. Wow, it slips a lot, guys. I saw the market maker say 11 cents. I mean, I, w I did pocket that money, but I feel a little bit better about 08. This is at 11. So I may have to... Uh, yeah. So now this is what we call managing a bad position. It's breaking through it. $400 down on this trade. So the thousands my max loss, but I am not seeking to get there. <laughs> so now, before this was support, right, this level, now it's a resistance, so it just broke through it. So if another candle breaks through it, then I feel I'm going the wrong direction. Um, it's, a, it's above the FIB. we got about 45 seconds to decide here i want to see this candle red hmm. well and i don't want to drop below five because i got there so you can see i'm taking fewer trades let me get the mac i wasn't even looking at the macd it hasn't really come into my sphere yet to think about it we are over no, we're right in the middle. We're not overbought or oversold, according to the RSI on the five minute. We are just starting to see the, you know, the evil head of the shorters showing up down here. Uh,
Need to take my finger off the mouse. Take that. Okay, so I took it just below this fib. And I'm using I'm choosing to use that as support. I thought I actually was gonna get it right at the fib, so that's a better position than I thought. What are you guys doing? Excuse me, some of you are still short. So I'll look to reverse again. I'm long now. If it comes up past this, this has been a very relaxed and controlled trading without all the little baby scalps. Um, clearly see the levels. Playing off the ATR and the Fibonacci's. Watching the, the I've watched the uh, scalping indicator a lot. That's been my main go-to besides these levels. I always forget to say, like, please remember to subscribe. Because that would really help us. Look at the links for the books. Or there's so many videos in the archive. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't keep going down. Videos in the archives. Um that can help you set up your charts or learn support and resistance or see which way the market's going or how to set up your scanner so you don't need to pay for a service. Um, lots of about how to trade this strategy, detailed ones, how to build your own platform. Lots of free platforms, uh, layouts, I mean, on a platform, not the platform itself. <laughs> um, so type in free and like free layout or free scripts and all these videos will come up. And... Um, Check them out, guys, you know, and it really helps us out if you learn and watch from it. And hopefully my main goal is, of course, for you to do well. That's my main goal at this stage of where I'm at. Um, so we'll see what happens here with you. <laughs> I used to be a math teacher, so I use funky ways to reach people obviously i've learned middle school i was middle school math so you had to be very creative um i think way long ago i worked with uh, richard garfield who designed a uh i'm old so i just uh who designed a game probably most of you don't know what it is but it's called magic the gathering and we used to use the mechanics to to teach uh to teach math he lives on, he's on the west coast now but i mean um I guess you don't know where I am, but I'm not on the West Coast right now. But uh, trading on the East Coast, obviously. So, yeah, I'm gonna take that, guys. I'm sorry, that's just too that's too good. So I've got that at. Uh, I bank that. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna turn around again. I'm getting worried right now. I'm actually going to go short again. So I've got 7,000. I'm short at 211.27. Ah, uh, I should have left well enough alone. I thought it was turning around. I'm going to turn around there, guys. I lost money on that trade. See, I just got into that mode of taking these fast trades. I was looking at the price action, and I, I got concerned that I was going the wrong direction there. Um, so, yeah. So I snagged a couple. Then I changed my mind. Then I changed my mind again. That's like rookie, rookie stuff going on that I shouldn't be doing. So I, I do think it's got a little bit upward move, maybe to, possibly to 212, possibly to the VWAP. I don't know. Of course, you never really know, right? I'm just trying to gauge this. It's stepping up. I, if that point of control pulled down, you would see me. All right, I'm going to take that. What did that hit? That did that it almost hit 212. Oh, God, I thought it was higher. Ah. 
1185. I really thought I was up at, I was watching the candlestick action. It didn't, it didn't, I wasn't, I should have been watching right there. So I'm back to kind of where I was. I think it was at 7,500 a minute ago. So I've got 211.85. Now she's letting everybody know, short. Um, and we're getting close to time. Wow, that went fast. That went very fast. Um, but yeah, I try to reach people. Um, with something that they can be passionate about when I'm teaching. And now I'm talking to a bunch of traders. So I'm trying to make this as entertaining as possible and then show you the lessons I've learned over time on how to scalp and what are the possibilities. And you, you need to understand why I took the move or I took the move. If you don't understand, you should be emailing me or asking me questions on the chat so I can answer them for you because they should all make sense. They're probably either on a support or resistance line. Um, they might have a lineup of the, and I remember this gray line, I haven't been talking about it a lot and somebody pointed out that I should bring it up. This is 50 minutes of average, 50 candlesticks on a one minute. So looking at the overall arc is helpful. Like this is telling you it's probably starting to go back down. Look at how the how the buyers have dropped. This this indicator has got six or five or six data points, all in one that you can get elsewhere. It's not you know a secret treasure map, but it certainly helps having them put together. That, that's why it's so popular. Um, and it it because how many things can you look at all at once, right? How many things can you look at? This should pop down. Pop this down, and I will feel good about this short position. But I am not feeling good about it because it's not. See how this price action is coming in? This should make this come down. And then it's going to be like a, a hammer hitting this price action down, but it's not. See all the buyers dropping? At any second, even though the MACD is saying, the MACD is kind of showing you what's happened already. This is showing you what's about to happen if you look at it, if you learn to read it. Um, they're both good to have, but... I, I want to see this snap down and it'll confirm that I'm already a decent trade. I'm, it's coming down anyway. Now, it did, it did now I would look to the ATR to be a possible stop there. I have a minute left to trade. There it goes. Did you see it come down? There it goes. So this move actually might go a lot further, but I'll, I'll stop at the, at the, uh, the uh, 1030, which is a half hour after... Um, We got about 45 seconds, guys. I'll, I'll ride this as low as it goes. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to take it right there at the ATR. So 8,200, and I got out 30 seconds early. So I was trying to show you how if you set this upright, it literally tells you along with the scalping indicator and, and the, the strategy itself. Is such. Now, a lot of people will say, oh, my God, all those lines, you crazy, man. And I even have people go, you don't know how to trade. Why would you do that? Well, I do how to trade, guys. Um, I, I hope that's clearly evident. But if you are, if you're, this is, if you're not used to this, it doesn't mean attack it. If you have some way that's working for you, you should stick with that way. And like I said before, not everything is for everybody. Um, uh, one of the things I liked about this is for beginners, it gave you things to go by. You still have to learn the nuances of the channels. Uh, the nuances of the candlestick patterns, set up your your layout and your charts correctly, get the indicators, you know, that this is the only custom one, everything else is on think or swim. Well, I do have other custom ones, but they're not right here on this, you don't need them. Um, and then set, you know, uh, this layout's been made free on, you know, many, many episodes. Um, so I guess I'll do it again, I because I did add the 15 minute here. So I'll do it for you guys again. Um, but anyway, so look for a free layout on this episode if you're new. But it, there's just type in free layout, and there, so many episodes will come up with all these different. I love building different layouts. I kind of like this one now. I, I might, st I think anyway, I'll stick with this for a while. Um, but it was a good session for everybody. Um, now we have a competition going. So Charlie's. Asking questions, going to be adding that up, and that's going to go by accuracy as well as gross um, to see 
who uh, had the, the most trades, which we can all see everybody's uh, trades when it comes right down to it. So that's not my job to do that. And then there'll be uh, that there'll be prize money, as far as you know, that goes to charity. <laughs> so, however that works, I'm not. I'm not going to get involved in that <laughs> anyway. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, stay green out there. Remember, trade in the sim, and I will see you soon. Go green. Oops. <laughs>